a scrap mechanic computer with multiple math functions, cool user interface and simple in input-output, the QM1401 built by me and Cubic, a fellow Discord member of the Codemaker for Discord, link in the description, and even a coffee machine. Hello, I'm Mats from Curious Computer and this is the QM1401 for me and Cubic. So that's the QM1401 when you download it from the workshop. Completely turned off and unprogrammed. This is the program card. You can program the whole QM1401 with this program card and these two lines. How to program it uh, will be a uh, own tutorial. but. Simply you can put on an instruction like assembler in here and the memory address or value in here All the documentation you can find in the link in the description You can also download these programs pre-made programs from the community on the steam workshop If you made a, com a program and you want to upload it just put you a QM1401 program card before and or in the description so people can search for it this is a QM1401 printer it can print on cardboard cards like this the cards are not delivered with the QM1401 you have to download it separately and put it with the lift into these this holding chamber if you done this you sh uh, the machine, if you turn it on, should automatically feed it in and the red arrow light right here and right here should turn off. This is the CPU of the QM1401. We have multiple math function as well as condition jump and normal jump and two registers. Um, a simple instruction register, a third one and a uh, cache. The QM1401 works with the simple three-phase principle. Fletch, execute, increment. So it will start on address zero. Address value zero, go to the memory and get the instruction, load it into here. Then it executes it and then it increments the program counter right here and, and starts again. So now to the user interface. We have multiple things on this user interface. We have first the program register. At the top we have the command, which uh, is uh, the computer is executing right now. And on the bottom we have the value or address for the memory, depending on this light right there. Here we have the uh, switch to turn the user interface on and the lights up there as well as a coffee machine here we have the big uh, block diagram of the whole computer in the middle we have the cpu the memory both registers which are 16 bit and the card reader and the printer up here we have six possible error codes down here we have the user interface for starting and stopping and resetting the machine the green light shows that it is running and the green button is to start it. The yellow light is the clock cycle. It blinks every time it makes 
a clock cycle. The same thing is with this lamp up here. The yellow button is for crashing the machine. So if you want to stop the machine without deleting everything in every cache. The red light if is on when the machine is turned off. The red button is to turn off the machine and delete everything in the RAM and in the registers. The violet part is for turning debugging mode on. If you turn the switch on, it will disable the internal clock and you can step with that button through every instruction. Down here, we have the full address bus, which can sh be showed here and the memory bus on here and the program counter down here. Everything is read from left to right as usual. I won't uh, go to all these lamps. They are pretty simple. Red lights are errors, green lights are running. Then here we have the activity light from the CPU to RAM. Here we have the RAM activity with the bank select and the activity which uh, function of the CPU is used. Here we see which instruction cycle it is in and here we see if it is off uh, is it a value in here or it's on its uh, memory address in here. Here we see activity light, error light, on light, activity lights, error light, on light. Simple. So let's turn it on. We have on the side a switch which you can turn on and uh, when the computer is actually on, you can this lamp is on as well as the orange light up there. Then we can turn on the user interface which actually don't work if the computer is off and we see everything is wonderfully running and glowing. We can also turn on the lights right here but uh, with scrap mechanic is a little bit glitchy and it disturbs me so I turn it on off but it is uh, actually useful. Then we have to program the computer because if we would run it it would not work. So I now programmed the computer a simple 5 plus 7 addition. So uh, if I press that green button it should turn on and we should see the RAM goes on. Yes it actually reads the, the color card and puts it into RAM. Now it is working and we should see the clock turning on in a second. So, we can see it run, it runs, so it has actually loaded 5 into the register A, now it loads 7 into register B, and next it should add to those two together. And we see C, which is the hex equivalent from 12, so it actually works. Now um, it is run out and nothing is there. And because of that it uh, begins to do weird stuff and uh, because it is always um, a good option to turn it off uh, in the program I haven't done this because I don't want it to get reset I could also uh, technically just um, make a crash but I also don't want it to do this because it is actually also not practical that was it from my little Act, uh, explanation and show out of the QM 1401. I hope you enjoyed. If so, leave a like. Also, consider subscribing, and we will see us the next time. Bye.